Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusti, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft, where today we will continue with our storage system. Last time we put in the bulk storage, which was pretty straightforward uh, once we uh, removed this uh, first slice that did not work for uh, unstackable items that we did not even need there. And the input system, which was slightly bit more complicated uh, with all the things going on. And today it gets one up. Bit more complicated with the multi-item storage on that side. And if I have enough time, also a big wall there in the back so that we have two uh, walls finished, three with this one, so we are only missing the third one over there. So let me make some progress and then we can have a first look. Now this first part was the easy part and as you can see there is quite a bit of uh, colorful glass uh, here to separate the different aspects a bit. Here in the back line with the, with the redstone that's where we will have our rail which will distribute the items into the different segments and these lines uh, up here in front are control lines and on here where i am standing that's basically the loading and control circuit also unloading happens in this three wide area then back there we have a cauldron filled with lava to destroy items that we actually do not want to have in the sorting system. And um, for one, this is uh, overflow protection from the, the line coming back out there from below the, uh, um, the barrels, that's what they're called. And then here on the side, we will also have three special sorters for items that we never want to go into the system because it would break it. Uh, but more on that in a bit. And I think next step here is uh, uh, building up this a uh, rather complicated redstone contraption. So let me concentrate a bit and then I hopefully get it right. After some block placing and some fiddling around, we have arrived at this point. So now I think it's a good time to explain a bit how this is supposed to work. However, if you want a, a better explanation, I, I really suggest you go to Cal's channel, Mizuma Games, because um, he, does, he does just a better job um, in explaining all the intricate details uh, of how this works. So this here is the input chest and we have a comparator uh, back there which basically goes down and over uh, to there. And as long as we have something in here, in this chest, this rail is powered. So we, we have a loop uh, for our minecart to go around. Um, which we have not yet placed. So basically minecart is sitting down there uh, loading from this chest. 
and it will only take up items in one slot. So we're at, at max one stack of items. Then go up here and down there. And this is the point where one item is sucked out and ends up in this uh, in this hopper and when the minecart uh, gets back passes here the item is put back in however down here um, the minecart runs below these chests which are filled by filler items. Uh, I use the iron ingots because they are quite plentiful to get at with a running iron farm. And I renamed them so I can actually also place in iron um, nuggets, not ingots, nuggets they are, um, in there and they can be sorted. So how this happens is uh, when a minecart, uh, which is by the way a hopper minecart, uh, drives under here, it tries to suck out items from these chests. And of course it can only pick the item, one item um, that is already in the chest minecart because all the slots are uh, are occupied and as we removed one item back there from the first slot we have one slot free for the item that we want to sort so that's sucked out and uh, basically then we know which slice here um, we need to sort that in. So basically what happens then is minecart comes back around here and when driving over the, the hop line here on top, um, all the, the hoppers here, they are disabled. However, as soon as we uh, uh, fish out an item from down there, uh, it gets unlocked and when the when the minecart comes back we can put back in the item that we picked up before and then basically all we have to do is um, knowing that uh, we have this slice selected uh, put that uh, forward uh, to basically unlock uh, this hopper here and we do this with uh, this contraption down here which is basically this combo filled dropper and one item there and that works out neatly then uh, hopper minecart comes back around here, breaks on this rail, unloads, and once uh, it's uh, unloaded, uh, we can power this rail. And uh, as the chest is not a full block, the uh, minecart will drop down onto the, the rail below and get a new load and basically that's all there is then here on this end um, that's where we will connect the, the second uh, side which I think I will build up next and as with the 2x2 uh, two two tree farm we will wait with the uh, testing till the end because I also have to come up with uh, a, a good system how to categorize 
the items which items belong into the same chest setting up the, the chest back there so the from my experience the the most finicky part is actually setting up all the chests and hoppers uh, with the the items in there um, but now that I have done one side hopefully the second side will be a bit easier so let's do that and uh, see how that looks then the second side is now also done however not yet completely as is this one because uh, down there the uh, indicator lights they will not work because we need a solid block in front of them or on top of them uh, because they are powered by the comparators but as that would be part of the decoration not part of uh, uh, this episode here and uh, as mentioned in the last segment the most tedious part is uh, placing in all the items in the droppers hoppers and chests and uh, uh, part of that is that you have to rename quite a few items so uh, as you have seen i have used snowballs and um, and iron and nuggets uh, nuggets are not that heavy because they stack 44 but snowballs they only stack 16 so i think just renaming used up 250 levels of uh, xp and as you can see i'm down to zero and getting back xp is a bit time consuming i use the uh, gold farm so i have lots of uh, gold stacked up there because uh, i also needed to barter a bit uh, to get the uh, quartz for all the comparators and i also used the uh, the emerald farm the raid farm um, because i was also running low on uh, on emeralds and we need emeralds for uh, uh, the glowstone that's in here and a lot of redstone dust so yeah uh, i guess for me it's back to the raid farm to get back some levels because for the fourth side we also need to rename a few items but that will come in the next episode hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you soon with the fourth wall of this build goodbye